I did get the whole hat in the shot this time. Okay, it's Johnny then. Uh, yes, and Johnny. Johnny was upset because maybe whole hat wasn't in the shot. Could have been. Mm-hmm. This time, we have a special DJ brew tube. Why? Because we have a beer from a good buddy of ours. Who is that, Johnny? He's not talking. He's quiet. I don't remember. Average Joe. Oh, Average Ho. <laughs> average Troll. Average Troll. Yes. Chad. No, no, not Chad. Average Troll. <laughs> troll. Chad hangs out with Average Troll sometimes. Oh, there you go. Yes. Shout out to you, Joe. Thanks a million for sending this beer. Joe does not have a channel. No, that's why. So we don't have to worry about putting show. notes down the bottom. No notes. So, this beer is... You're supposed to talk now. Oh, Captain Lawrence Brewing Company Extra Gold 2013. It's kind of like an American, American, American style Belgian ale. Whoa. Um, brewer, dry hops with Amarillo hops. But there's some Simcoe and Cascades as well in there. Malt, Canadian two-row, yeast, Belgian ale. The guy in the bottle says, hey, you know, not really a Belgian hops, but it's the American Belgian. Not Belgian hops, American. A Belgian style beer, but it's not a Belgian style beer. It's American style Belgian beer. There you go. It's a triple. It's rotating. They're out of Elmsford, New York. Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. I think I said that. So, we got 10% ABV, 45 IBUs. And we've got beer in front of me. That's right. So, appearance-wise, it's a somewhat hazy, nice golden color. Really crisp white head, sudsy bubbles. Looks like a triple and smells like a hoppy triple. <laughs> it's got one finger head when I swirl it. Look at that, guy. Plenty of glass lacing on that. Tons nice of alcohol smell. legs. Let's get Let's a see. shot at this. Well, this is kind of citrusy and piney. I get a little bit of the spice from the Belgian yeast. And, like, maybe some, like... Like sweetness, like malty sweetness. Wow. Cheers. I'm going to taste of this one now. I'm not super complex aroma, but let's see how to taste it. You get that. When you drink it, you, you get that smell of the wow. the uh, hops. Very citrusy smell. Very dry on the palate. Um, yeah. You know, like a, like a white wine or something like that. Yeah, white, definitely dry white wine, wine dry. There's a dry finish, too. It's got zippy carbonation to it. I guess what, like medium mouthfeel? Mm -hmm. um, I don't get any alcohol in the aroma and none on the taste. The, it's definitely masked by the sweetness. and it's This is a hoppy triple. Yeah, it's definitely a, a, an American-Belgian triple. Mm -hmm. American triple Belgianized. Uh, Americanized Belgian triple. There you go. Yeah, what I said. See that? The beer geek comes through again. <laughs> hmm. Make your list. Very, <laughs> that, stop, don't talk, stop talking about the list. You're going to start the OCD up again. There you go. <sighs> drink your drink. Anyways. They're going to take me away. Ha ha, they're going to take me away. Ho ho, to the money <laughs> farm where I belong, where he belongs. I think the stars and the taste of this. Stars? Yeah, the stars, like what's shining, is the spiciness of the Belgian yeast. And... I'm a dry hop. I'm getting a lot of that that um, amarillo hops. Oh, you said it was such a sexy amarillo. Spanish accent. That's right. And for the guys you, who tell me I don't are. that I don't say habanero correctly. Habanero. Too bad. Jalapenos. It's amarillo hops and habanero peppers. Anyway. Not jalapenos. Jalapenos. Yeah, maybe that too. Mm. So, wow. This is, it's like drinking, almost like drinking a sparkling wine in, in some respects. Yeah. Uh, citrusy sparkling wine. It's mm -hmm. definitely a, a fun, fun beer. I like it. Good. I mean, it's not overly hoppy bitterness. Bitterness, you know, I've used her 45, but. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Cascades is in there. So. Mm hmm. I sneezed. Um, but, you know, it, it's got. Good character, uh, just fun to drink, you know, because of its dryness, Belgianness, but hoppiness, but no bitterness. It's almost like, like a like a sort of a muted Belgian pale ale. Like it doesn't have the the aggressive bite and like pineapple you get in a Belgian pale ale, but it's it's a tasty beer. It's a, it's a real interesting take on a triple. It goes down super smooth. He's got got to get the Kleenex out from the Cascade, but excuse me. <laughs> Is that like rude on the 
video? Did nah, they don't really care. I mean, they're watching our drunken asses drink beer anyway. So if I fuck my nose hair, do you think that? Well, that, that might be something so else. Are you getting a phone call? Somebody's calling me. Bob, yeah. and, Bob and Lupita are calling hey, me. We're in their house. <laughs> well, I don't know why they're calling. We're just going to ignore that. They're probably trying to harass us since we're drinking beer. Do you need to come upstairs? We are going right now. Yes, look, we have a lovely lovely Captain Lawrence crown, too. But So what do you rate a beer like this? So our buddies over at Rate Beer, they give it a 98 because it's 10% or above. So that's typical. Mm -hmm. uh, beer Advocate gives it a 91. Um... Uh, I don't know. It's a fun beer. It's not a uh, true Belgian triple. Triple. It's an American Belgianized triple. Whatever Americanized Belgian triple. Mhm. Mm uh, um. It's a cool take on a triple. It is. It's a. It is. I. I give it a ninety. I. I like it. It's. It's mm -hmm. fun. It's good. I would. I would drink it again. I mean, it's. It, it's. Different. I mean, it's. It's good for its category. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna give it like the A minus. I'm gonna give it a 91, like Beer Advocate gave it. Kind of, it's 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 a well-made beer. You can tell it's made with qual quality ingredients. I would drink it again. I don't know if I'd necessarily seek it out again, but the alcohol is really well hidden. It's got a nice dry finish, and the hops is kind of cool because it counterbalances. Because usually triples are sweet, and we're into sweet beers. And it's still is sweet. It's a sweet citrusy. Mm -hmm. You don't get that Belgian candy out of this. You get a almost like a a lemon drop candy. Yeah, yeah, like it. like that like citrus yeah. zest, like if you squeeze the lemon yeah. peel, that kind of citric acid. But That's pretty cool. Really tasty beer. So we're both giving it A minuses. If you've had this beer, let us know what you think. Same we, more our way. Exactly. Um, Average Joe, thanks a million for sending this, my brother. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so we got the extra, not extra gold, the um, Golden Delicious to try after this, the one that was this beer aged in apple brandy barrels. Sounds good to me. So we'll go after that another day. And by drinking this beer, we're thinking globally because it's like a Belgian style, and we're drinking locally because we've been exiled to the freaking dungeon yet again. It's not really a dungeon. It's like a... Like a 1970s wood panel yeah. basement with obvious <laughs> two different types of flooring, tile and <laughs> linoleum with some weird wood columns. It's a basement getting its groove on, right? Yeah. Like 70s groove. Yeah. So, go. we're and, and by doing that, we're supporting the craft beer movement, right? <laughs> yes, we are. Just by doing that. No, by sitting, <laughs> sitting in a basement week after week and drinking beer is probably what's getting that job done. So, till the next time, guys, thanks a million to each and every one of you watching. We appreciate you. Rate, comment, subscribe, hit the like button. Except for when Johnny's on the video, just tell him you, you want to see more, more DJ. Do or not Johnny. say you want more Johnny because this is what you get. <laughs> till the next time, guys, thanks a million for watching, and that's a big one. Drink up. Peace out.